Hello and welcome back to the next session of microbes in human welfare. Now in the earlier part we came across microbes in household products and in that part we came across various food products that we use in our day to day life. Now let us come back to the next part which is regarding microbes in industrial products or we also call it as microbes in industries. Now microbes in industries and microbes in household food, food products the basic difference between these two is in the industries we are going to produce them in large quantities in the house we are going to produce food in small quantity because the total number of people who are present in our homes their number is less production or a production or cooking up of the food is also less while in case of the industries it is a large scale. Okay, it is a commercial part, it is a commercial view. Okay. Now in this as we come across microbes in the industries, let us go to the first part microbes in major industry where we call it as a fermentation, alcoholic fermentation. So microbes in fermented beverages. Now fermented beverages are those alcoholic products which are produced by the industries in large quantity. Okay, now how these fermented beverages are produced? We have the larger stainless steel vessels where we call them as a reactors, bioreactors or fermenters. In these fermenters we are taking the mother liquor where we call it as molasses. Molasses is the mother liquor that comes from all the sugar industries. Okay. Now to this mother liquor or molasses we are going to add yeast. The yeast that we are going to add here is what type of yeast? It is called as Saccharomyces cerevisiae. This is the yeast, the yeast where we use in the preparation of the bread, the same type of yeast is also used here. Now this Saccharomyces cerevisiae, this is a commonly called as a brewer's yeast. This is commonly called as a brewer's yeast. And its a scientific name is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. If the yeast is used in bakery industries, we commonly call it as a baker's yeast. If the yeast, same yeast is used in brewery industries, brewery is nothing but preparation or synthesis of beverages. That is why we call it as a breweries. Okay. Now in this brewery industries, we are going to produce the products in large quantity. By the process of fermentation, we are going to produce two different types of alcoholic products where we call them as a distillation or a distilled alcoholic products and a non-distilled alcoholic products. Okay. Now by the fermentation process, we are going to produce one is a non-distillation alcoholic products and second one is the distillation. alcoholic products. Non-distillation where the concentration of the alcohol is very less. Now the non-distillation alcoholic products here we have certain examples like a beer and wine. These are the two alcoholic products which are produced by non-distillation process. Through the distillation the alcohol concentration goes on increasing and we are making it little bit more concentrated from the previous concentrated value. Now in case of this distillation we have various different products apart from these two beer and wine the rest of the brands which you know comes under this category then what are those brands. So it comes like a brandy, whiskey. rum, gin, vodka, etc. 
okay so all these are various different types of distilled alcoholic products distillation is nothing but it is a process where the concentration of alcohol goes on increasing by the removal of water okay then non distillation here the alcoholic percentage is less now yeast undergoes poisoning themselves at a alcoholic percentage of around 12 to 13 percent that's why beyond that the alcohol percentage cannot be increased we have to increase artificially through the industries by the process of distillation and non distillation they are directly these alcoholic products are obtained by the fermentation of yeast now out of all the brands the least alcohol concentration is present in the beer okay which measures around 5 to 7% also highest alcohol percentage is in vodka nearly around 80% okay then apart from that we have one more type of uh, alcoholic product where we call it as a rectified spirit rectified spirit is Uh, it is around uh, 95 percent alcohol, and uh, absolute alcohol this is 100 percent alcohol. Okay, so this these two are the additional parts. Rectified spirit it is around 90 to 95 percent of alcohol. Absolute alcohol is 100 percent alcohol, highly concentrated. What will happen if this high concentration if a person consumes this rectified spirit he will die on the spot because it is a too concentrated right that's why this rectified spirit it is used in the spirit lamp burning up of the lamp in the laboratories spirit lamp it is a the rectified spirit only right and this rectified spirit it forms the raw material for all the alcoholic products okay where the alcoholic concentration will be maintained properly now in the earlier days also we were having an alcoholic product where we used to call it as toddy toddy is nothing but it is a fermented sap of palm plant that was the crude method old method okay now we have the modern method of a production of alcohol by the industries in large quantity and we are going to produce it we are producing it the highest sale marketing is from this alcoholic products only okay so this is regarding the part of the first one microbes in industries that means in the industries we are using these microorganisms for our benefit so that we can produce various types of products in different concentrations in different grades okay so this is the first part fermented beverages so with this let's go to the second part second part is antibiotics antibiotics are also produced by the industries in large concentration as the name says antibiotics anti means against against bios means life against life these are the chemicals substances which are produced against the life whose life our life no against the life of microorganisms against the life of pathogens which causes disease in the humans okay now antibiotics are the chemical substances which are produced against the microorganisms or pathogens let us more accurately call it as pathogens to kill the pathogens we are going to use this okay now this antibiotic the first antibiotic that was produced was penicillin the first antibiotic produced is penicillin and this was produced from a fungus and the name of the fungus is penicillium notatum it is called as a penicillium notatum this is the name of the fungus from which the first antibiotic penicillin was produced and this penicillin it was discovered by alexander fleming okay this was discovered by alexander 
फ्लेमिंग अलेक्सैंडर फ्लेमिंग एक्सीडेंटली डिस्कवर्ड पेन्सिलिन ही डिड नॉट पर्पजली डिस्कवर्ड पेन्सिलिन ही वॉज डूयिंग अनेदर एक्सपेरीमेंट और एक्सपेरीमेंटे बेरे एक्सीडेंटली पेन्सिलिन तुंत ओके वाट वाज हिस एक्सपेरीमेंट हि वॉज क्यारिंग ऊट हिस एक्सपेरीमेंट हाँ ऐन एक्सपेरीमेंट मा हि वॉज क्यारिंग ऊट हिस एक्सपेरीमेंट आन ए आज हि वॉज क्यारिंग ऊट हिस एक्सपेरीमेंट आन ए बैक्टीरिया ऐक्चुअली एंड दट नेम आफ द बैक्टीरिया इज अ स्टैफलो कोकस लुक एट दिस द नेम आफ द बैक्टीरिया दैट वॉज सेलेक्टेड बै हिम वॉज अ स्टैफलो कोकस इन द लैबोरेटरी इन ए कलर प्लेट वो कलर प्लेट एक्सपेरीमेंट माता एक्सपेरीमेंट मू टाइम ऐन सो वाट हैपन वाज इन द ग्ला प्लेट हिस बैक्टीरिया वेर हियर ऑन द सरउंडिंग सतमे मोल बेत मोल फंगस दैट मोल वाज नाट अलोविंग He is a Staphylococcus bacteria to multiply. Our laboratory experiment is. Yavaga, this bacteria, Staphylococcus bacteria, na ill irwanta kelon substances a adan multiply marlik bidle la. Avaga Alexander Fleming idh kena n karada. They are he called it as anti biosand karada. Anti andra against bios means life. This was a substance which was which was produced against the life of his bacteria. अदे अद्क आंटी बयोज को अब मुं होता होता अब पेनिलीन अंत गोत हाँ 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 पे फंगस पेनिल नोट टाइम अद्रेन पेनिल बनु दिस वाज द डिस्कवरी ओके देन अलेक्सा फ्लेमिंग हि जस्ट डिसकवर्ड दिस फंगस देन लेटर आन इट्स अ थेरापटिकल वैल्यू इट्स मेडिस मेडिसल प्रॉपर्टीस करती इट्स मेडिसल प्रॉपर्टी वेर ईडेंटिफाइड बै आ चैन and howard flory its a therapeutical value its medicinal value its medicinal property was shown by ernst chain two of his friends ernst chain and howard flory because of this what happened they all together when they discovered this penicillin injection this penicillin injection was widely used to the soldiers who were wounded in world war 2 of us in america american soldiers were wounded in the world war 2 in the year 1945 because of this when the penicillin was discovered all of these three persons alexander fleming chain and flory they have been awarded with the nobel prize in the year 1945 okay they have been awarded with the nobel prize in the year 1945 due to the discovery of the penicillin along with that by saving the life of uh, thousands of soldiers okay that's why today we have many different thousand varieties of antibiotics like tetracycline erythromycin kanamycin azithromycin so different types of antibiotics are obtained from various sources mainly they are obtained from bacteria along with the fungus but the first antibiotic which was obtained was from the fungus and the name of the fungus is penicillium nodatum then what you need to remember here new en en pitko beku name the first antibiotic that was discovered it is penicillin it was discovered from which microorganism penicillium nodatum then who discovered it fleming alexander fleming discovered it who gave the therapeutical value who gave the medicinal property medicinal value for it the medicinal value it was mainly given by ernst ernest chain along with that howard flory all of these three fleming chain flory have been awarded with the nobel prize in the year 1945 by discovering the penicillin along with that the penicillin saved life of many wounded soldiers in world war 2 okay remember this one right so this is regarding the part of microbes in industries in that fermented beverages and second one is 
antibiotics. Okay, now let us go to the last heading of this main part, last heading of the industrial part. It is regarding the chemicals, enzymes and bioactive molecules. Okay, so let us look at the next part. Next one is chemicals, enzymes and other bioactive molecules. Okay. Out of this, let us come to the first heading. First heading is the chemicals. In this chemical, let us take the first one. I will just go into an serial order, sequential order. The chemicals are ABCL chemicals. First one is acetic acid, second one butyric acid, third one citric acid, and fourth one lactic acid. Now, these are the four chemicals which are produced from different microorganisms. Acetic acid is discovered from Astobacteri, Acetobacter aceti. Butyric acid is discovered from Clostridium butylicum. Citric acid is discovered from Aspergillus niger and lactic acid is discovered from lactobacillus or LAB. LAB stands for lactic acid bacteria. Okay. Now, how to remember them? Because you need to remember chemicals, you need to remember enzymes and other bioactive molecules also. So, let me call it as ABCL chemicals. Okay. So, what is this? A for apple, Allah. Now, acetic acid and karitivi. B for ball, no butyric acid. C for cat. Here we have citric acid. So, let me call it as ABCL chemical. First term, Tony. A acetic acid, butyric acid, citric acid, lactic acid. You have only these four in your NCRT. So, let us study only these four. Let us remember only these four. Okay. So, how to remember them? Acetic acid is produced from Astobacter aceti, other naming melana irkoda. Acetobacter aceti. Then butyric acid, Clostridium butylicum, butylicum, butyric acid. Then citric acid, this is a little bit different. This is a fungus, Aspergillus niger. Lactic acid, you know it, lactobacillus or lactic acid bacteria, LAB. Okay. Now, these are produced in the industries in large quantity because all these are the chemicals and these chemicals we are using in, in our lab, not only in our lab, it is used in the degree colleges also, it is used in the PG colleges also, it is used by the research persons in the laboratories. So, throughout the globe, the chemicals are used and hence they have to be produced in large quantity. They are produced in large quantity and they are transported in large quantity also. Okay. This is how with the help of these microbes, we are going to produce these products. Okay. So, these are the microbes from which the products are produced. These are the products, these are the microbes because our title says microbes in human welfare. So, how we are using them in our day to day life. These are chemicals. Let us go to the enzymes. Now, in this we have the first one proteases and pectinase, second lipase, 
थर्ड स्ट्रेप्टोकाइनेस ओके नाउ दीज आर द एंजाइम्स विच आर यूज इन इंडस्ट्रीज टू प्रोड्यूस द प्रोडक्ट्स ऑल्सो प्रोटीज एंड पेक्टिनेस दे आर यूज इन क्लैरिफिकेशन ऑफ फ्रूट जूसेस इन बॉटल जूस प्रोडक्ट्स ओके नो प्रोटीज एंड पेक्टिनेस इज एन एंजाइम विच इज यूज इन इंडस्ट्रीज फॉर द क्लैरिफिकेशन ऑफ द फ्रूट जूस नो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई टेल यू वॉट इज दिस इन अवर होम वी प्रिपेयर ऑरेंज जूस वेन वी प्रिपेयर ऑरेंज जूस वील टेक द ऑरेंज वील पील आउट इट स्किन देन पुट इट इन ए मिक्सर जार देन क्रश इट प्रॉपरली मिक्स इट प्रॉपरली ग्राइंड इट एंड लेटर ऑन फिल्टर इट देन टेक इट इन ए ग्लास बट द सोल्यूशन और द दिस जूस वॉट यू टेक इन द ग्लास इट विल नॉट बी ए क्लियर सोल्यूशन बट द ऑरेंज जूस दैट यू ब्रिंग फ्रॉम द मार्केट which you where you carry the bottle there the solution is very clear this is because that turbidity is removed by these enzymes protease and pectinase that's why we find the clear fruit solution in case of the industrial packed bottles and in our homes homemade fruit juice it will not be a clear solution because we are not using these enzymes in our homes while industries will use them for packing up of this bottle juice products okay so protease and pectinase are the enzymes which are used in clarification means clearing clearing the fruit juice so that the fruit juice appears a very clear solution okay lipase is a enzyme which is widely used to remove oil stains so it is used to remove oil stains from the clothes suppose while eating the food if any food particle falls on the shirt okay then it will be if it is oily then ultimately the oil cannot be removed so easily with water for that this lipase is a enzyme that is a widely used in all the detergents and it is also used by laundromans okay it is widely used in laundries by laundromans okay so this lipase enzyme is present in washing powder nirma surfexel aerial in all the detergents we have this lipase enzyme that is going to remove oil stains Re remember this one name the enzyme that is responsible for the removal of the oil stains it is a lipase lipase removes oil stains from the clothes okay then let's go to the last one streptokinase streptokinase is a enzyme that is obtained from the bacteria streptococcus it is obtained from streptococcus okay now this streptococcus will produce an enzyme streptokinase and this streptokinase enzyme is used as a clot buster so it is used as clot buster this is the most important term that will be asked for an objective even for your neat not only for the objective part of your theory but for the neat part also which enzyme is used as a clot buster remember it is <coughs> the streptokinase enzyme okay the streptokinase is an enzyme that is used as a clot buster what is this clot clot buster it is a uh, used in mi patients in myocardial infarction it is a zoological medical term where we commonly call it as heart attack in this persons what happens suppose if this is a blood vessel 
ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಎನಿ ಕ್ಲಾಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾದರೂ ಕೊಲೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಲ್ ಡಿಪಾಯಿಷನ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಕ್ಲಾಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಇಂಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎ ಇಂಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ವಾಲ್ ಮೇಲ್ಗಡೆ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ವೆಸಲ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಾವೆ ಆ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ವೆಸಲ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಂಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲಾಟ್ ದ ಇಂಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಲ್ ಬಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಟು ಅದರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಪನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಯೋಕಾರ್ಡಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಸಚ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೇಷೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಮಯೋಕಾರ್ಡಿಯಲ್ ಪೇಷೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ವಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇರ್ತಾವೆ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಯಾರ್ದ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಪೇಷೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಪ್ಟೋ ಕ್ಯಾನೀಸ್ ಎನ್ಸಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎನ್ಸೈಮ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಹೆಡಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ಬಯೋಕ್ಟು ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ದ ಬಯೋಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಬಯೋಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸೈಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಪೋರಿನ್ ಎ ದೆನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಪೋರಿನ್ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಬ್ it is produced from a microbe called as a trichoderma polysporum it is produced from tri- trichoderma polysporum statin is produced from monascus purpureus both are fungal derivative only cyclosporin a is produced from it is a in the form of injection only statin is also injection both are injections trichoderma polysporum is a fungus from which this cyclosporin a is produced and statin is produced from monascus purpureus then what are their function now this cyclosporin a it is used as immunosuppressive agent immuno suppressive agent during organ transplantation during organ transplantation this is most important again it is an objective part which is used as a immuno suppressive agent it is cyclosporin a produced from trichoderma polysporum it is used in the form of injection where uh, now look at this during organ transplantation like kidney transplantation suppose the kidney has to be replaced if the kidney has to be replaced then our immune system won't retain even a small microorganism then how can it retain a larger kidney that's why doctor will give an injection the name of that injection is cyclosporin a so that our body gets adjusted to this organ ಓಕೆ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಕಿಡ್ನಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಷನ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಷನ್ ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಇಂಥ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಷನ್ ಆದಾಗ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ಟೂ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲೂ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಡ ಅಂತ ಅಂದಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಮ್ಯೂನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೋ ವೀಕ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಎನಿ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲಿ ಹಾರ್ಮ್ಫುಲ್ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಪೋರಿನ್ ಎ ದೆನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಟು ಲೋವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ blood cholesterol lowering agent look at this this is also most important now this is used as a blood cholesterol lowering agent which one statin suppose if the cholesterol level goes on increasing in our blood what will happen it leads to blockage of the blood vessels leading to heart attack and death as a result as the age proceeds almost doctors will suggest for for the aged persons as well as for the mi patients that don't consume more cholesterol this is because if cholesterol concentration increases 
chance of heart attack is high risk of heart attack is high as a result the cholesterol has to be kept under control now statin it lowers from the blood if the cholesterol content is high the cholesterol content is lowered by this type of injection that's why blood cholesterol lowering agent is statin immunosuppressive suppressive agent is cyclosporin a okay so this is the chemicals four chemicals four enzymes 1 2 3 and four enzymes and two bioactive molecules so this completes the second part of the topic then the later parts of the topic we shall continue in the coming class thank you have a nice day